Hi, thanks for joining me today. It's Geraldine from the Paper Puffin Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to make this card. It was inspired by Iced Images on YouTube. She does fabulous cards, and so I took her design and then made my own version. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. Let's begin by reviewing all the pieces you'll need to build this card. For your base color, you'll need one piece measuring four and a half by five inches, one measuring six and a half by five inches, two, each measuring one inch by 10 and three quarters, and an additional piece that I've cut out using the largest die cut from the layering ovals shapes, and this one is the plain one. You're also going to need a piece of white cardstock, and this piece measures four and three eighths by four and seven eighths. You're gonna stamp a sentiment on this, and this will be on the back of the card. You'll also need some scraps. So I have a scrap of three different colors. I'm gonna be cutting out the mountains and a tree and some other trees, as well as the word happy. And these are coming from the Mountain Air Bundle from Stampin' Up. You're also going to need a strip of window sheet. Hopefully you can see that here. And this piece measures one inch wide by four and a half inches long. For the designer series paper in this set, I've chosen to use the New Horizons paper, which comes in six by six sheets. This allows me to get most of these pieces out of one sheet. So I went ahead and cut the sheet at the four and three quarter inch mark. And that gave me these three pieces that I could cut then. So I did three quarters of an inch by four and three quarters, four and a quarter by four and three quarters, and then three quarters of an inch by four and three quarters. There was a tiny little piece left over. For the bottom, these pieces are two inches by three quarters of an inch. I had to grab another piece in order to get the top colors that I wanted. And these as well measure two inches by three quarters of an inch. If you're using a different designer series paper, the way you cut them out to fit together is not as important. But because this is a background that has a scene, I wanted to make sure that the scene was continuous in the card. I went ahead and prepared all the pieces to decorate the front of the card. So I die cut the word happy, stamped the word birthday with Memento Tuxedo Black. I cut out this tree in white. I used some soft suede and stamped the image of the trees in black, cut them out. And then on the blue cardstock, I stamped using Versamark and then I heat embossed some white over top of that to make them look like snow covered mountains. I'm ready now to do the scoring. So taking the piece of the base color, which measured six and a half by five, I'm gonna be scoring along the longest edge, the six and a half inch edge, and I'm gonna score it at one inch, and again at five and a half inches. Now taking the strips, which are one inch by 10 and three quarters of an inch, I'm gonna be scoring at seven eighths of an inch, two inches, four and a quarter, six and a half, eight and three quarters, and nine and seven eighths. I'll repeat that with the second strip. Again, at seven eighths, two inches, four and a quarter, six and a half, eight and three quarters, and nine and seven eighths. Now I'm going to adhere all of the pieces of designer series paper to these 
base pieces, taking these three pieces for the largest, and then these smaller three pieces for the three panels in the middle of each one of these strips. I'll go ahead and do that and pick up Now there. that the designer series paper is all attached to the base color, I'm ready to attach these strips to the base of the card. To do that, I'm gonna be flipping these pieces over like this, making sure I have them oriented in the way that I want. Now for these to be attached, I'm gonna be using some Tombow glue. And you wanna make sure that this crease here is lined up perfectly with this crease here. There'll be a tiny little space here and that's so that the card can fold nicely. So you're going to line it up, smooth along the edge with these creases lined up. I'm gonna place glue on these flaps and attach this piece on. I'll do the same then with this top piece, lining it up so that when I put over this flap, I position it so that the crease on the strip is lined up with the crease on the base on both sides. So to show you what I've done, I've placed some glue on these two little tabs here. And I'm folding this over so that the crease and this fold here on the strip line up perfectly and also line up with the bottom. Then I'll put some glue on the other side and fold it over and you'll see that these creases line up and you'll have this tiny little edge over here and that's what you want. So this is going to be how the card is going to sit like this. At this point, I'm going to stamp a sentiment on my white piece. I'll then attach the white piece to the green mat and then I'll attach this to the back of the card. I'll go ahead and do all that and show you what we have. So here we have the card and on the back is the sentiment on the white cardstock. I glued this on with Tombow glue. I find that it makes it easier for me to position the piece exactly where I want it. So now I'm ready to do the front piece here. So I've assembled all the pieces for the front. I glued the happy and the mountains with Tombow glue to the oval then popped up this birthday on dimensionals and embellished a little bit, and then attached these trees with glue dots. Now this piece is going to sit in the middle of the card like this and sort of be floating. So that's where your piece of window sheet comes in. I'm gonna take the piece of window sheet and place a couple of glue dots at the top and a couple at the bottom. Then I'll tuck it in behind here and glue it in place. Once that's glued in place, I'll place some glue dots in the middle of the oval and attach it to the center. And so here I have the finished card. You can see that the center panel appears to be floating in the middle of the card. And when the card stands up for display, it stands like this. You can of course write on the back a message to the recipient. This card folds flat and fits inside of a five by seven envelope. This is one version that I made. Now here's a simpler version. It uses a retired set of designer series paper called Broadway Bound from Stampin' Up. And because there's no landscape, you can just cut the pieces and it's much simpler to make. It also has less embellishments on the front. So for this one, it's happy birthday again. And then I put the sentiment on the back. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.